Arguably one of the most important pieces of gear for a worship leader is an acoustic electric guitar. Any praise and worship song can be led with just a singer and an acoustic electric guitar. I recently purchased one for $240 brand new. Check out my review right here. Welcome to Budget Worship Leaders, helping you lead better worship on a budget. My name's Rob, welcome to the channel. Being an electric guitar player by nature, I've spent years staying away from acoustic guitars. But there's some songs that just require one. Yes I Will by Vertical Worship is one of those. Acoustic guitars are very versatile and can be played in most situations. The problem with them comes when you try to record one. It's quite difficult to get a clean recording uh, of an acoustic guitar unless you have a quiet place to record, a sound treated room, and a really good microphone. To fix that issue, you can get an acoustic electric guitar, which is just an acoustic guitar with one of several types of pickups and can be plugged into an amplifier or straight into a soundboard. This is a Nashville Guitar Works DC10 CE. I picked it up brand new for $240 out the door and it was worth every penny. This is the third guitar I've purchased from them. I bought a 120 IV Telecaster, which was reviewed in my first video. I also bought my oldest son a jazz bass uh, from them, and he wants to, to review it on my channel with me, so stay tuned for that. Nashville Guitar Works doesn't really offer any information about the construction materials. Uh, the nut's cheap plastic, and it can cause the strings to bind during tuning. Uh, swapping it out for a bow nut would be a very inexpensive upgrade that would definitely be worth it. The edges of the frets are pretty sharp. That issue is common with lower priced guitars and can be addressed easily by any luthier without breaking the bank. One of the things that I really like uh, from Nashville Guitar Works is that their guitars are always really well set up from the factory. There's no fret buzz despite having such a low action and it requires a really light touch. If you're getting value out of this video, please hit the like button. That helps me get this video in front of more budget minded worship leaders. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. If you want to see more gear breakdowns, uh, reviews, please consider subscribing. The electronics are pretty simple and straightforward. There's a volume knob, four band graphic equalizer. It also has a battery test function and the electronics run on a single nine volt battery. Dude, enough talking, what does it sound like? Please keep in mind that during this part of the review, I'm only speaking from my personal opinion. Sound quality on an acoustic guitar is very subjective. I personally like the tone and the brightness of this guitar, but then again, I like bright guitars. So for the question of the day, do you like bright sounding guitars or do you prefer a darker sound? Leave your answer down in the comments below. I want to be able to give you the best idea of what this guitar truly sounds like, both acoustic and plugged in. That way you can decide for yourself whether you like the tone. So what are the pros and cons? For what you're getting, these guitars are really a bargain. They have what I consider to be a great sound, but like I said, that's subjective. The electronics are cheap, but they do the job without getting muddy on the sound. Uh, I personally like the look of the guitar. Uh, it's a very classic look, but you can also get one with an edge burst uh, that has a more vintage look, and they have a great action right off the shelf, and they're set up very well. The only downside I can find is they don't feel very well polished. The frets are rough, the plastic nut cheap tuners uh, make tuning take a little bit longer than it should, but all these problems can be fixed pretty cheap. So where can I get one of these guitars? Currently, Nashville Guitar Works only sells their guitars through a dealer network. They have at least one dealer in each state. There's a link in the description below to their website, which has a guide for their dealer network. So what's the deal? Do you recommend them? Absolutely. The DC-10CE is a great playing guitar on a budget. 
It's a little rough around the edges, but that's easy to overlook if the sound fits what you're looking for. And you can always alter the sound just by changing the strings. I hope this video was helpful to you, so check out some of my other videos here.